Hey, what's going on? Eric Cortina, Texas Barnuminiums. So before I was doing Barnuminiums, I was doing concrete. I've been doing concrete for about 15 years. And uh, as you guys know, I have a lot of videos on concrete. And, uh, you know, I've been after, for 15 years, I've been after the perfect slab. Uh, there's a lot of new technology out there that, that, you know, I'm willing to try to see if we can get that, you know, that perfect slab with no cracks. Uh, as you guys know, we, we do a lot of stained concrete and, you know, a lot of our customers, they actually like the cracks, you know, because it gives concrete character, but a lot of them hate them. Guess who gets the cracks? <laughs> it never fails. The customer that wants the cracks, they don't get them. The ones that say, you know, if I get cracks, I'm not going to be happy. They're going to get their fair share of cracks. So, again, cracks or surface cracks, they're not gonna you know your slab's not gonna fall apart they're just surface cracks okay concrete does that so because of that my you know I keep doing research and stuff trying to find out why because I, I figure if I can understand the why I can do something about it so as you guys know we've been doing post tension foundations lately and we've had really good luck with uh, minimizing cracking uh, so I was having a conversation with a with a concrete guy that's been at it for about 35 years. So he's got about 20 years on me, and he's kind of like me in the future. You know, the guy's been he's also uh, been out there trying to get a really good slab and trying to get less cracks. And and he agreed with me. He said post tension is the way to go. So I asked why. I said let's let's get into it. Why? do they crack less i understand the slabs under compression but you know why is it better why is why does rebar crack more than post tension so the way he explained it to me is this you you pour the foundation and it has water in it as the water evaporates that concrete is going to shrink just like a cake in a mold you know how it pulls off the sides the rebar that's in the concrete is itself keeping it from shrinking okay so it's not giving it any room to move so the concrete instead of just coming together like this it's gonna it's fighting the rebar the rebar is keeping it apart but it needs to shrink so that gap's gonna happen somewhere okay so the rebar itself is causing the cracks okay now that's shrinkage cracks stress cracks you know now you have the rebar sitting there as well right in the concrete and um, for that rebar to act the slab must first move the only time the rebar is going to do anything is when the slab moves and for the slab to move enough to start pulling on the rebar it must first crack so the slab the rebar is sitting there doing nothing until the slab cracks okay that's why you have more cracks with rebar foundations now post tension the slab gets poured and for seven to ten days there's no tension one way or the other so when the slab is shrinking there's nothing to prevent it from shrinking and then after it has shrunk then they add tension to to all four sides and now you don't need that foundation to flex before the cable can act on it it's acting on it beforehand so anyway that that was a really good explanation and uh, that kind of helped me wrap my mind around how you know the differences between rebar and post tension now it's one better than the other not really i mean it depends on the application uh post tension they use it a lot in parking garages that that's kind of like the go-to uh system uh, rebar it's a simpler system so more uh, contractors are going to use rebar so it's probably going to be the most you know common uh, system but post tension obviously uh, has a lot of benefits and uh, one of them is uh, less cracking now keep in mind i keep saying less cracking they still crack they just tend to crack less uh, over the you know we've done three so far we're going to do another one next week and across the board they're getting less cracking than a comparable slab with rebar uh, again i poured hundreds of foundations 
and most of them have been rebar. I have done some post tension uh, tennis courts, and we always had really good luck with with low cracking. So um, anyway, uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, <laughs> rebar is really good, but it it actually may be the reason why slabs crack. You know, and again, I'm not talking catastrophic failure. I'm talking just surface cracking. So. So anyway, I just figured I would share that conversation I had with that friend of mine over, uh, you know, why rebar cracks more than post tension. And, you know, it just seems to make sense. We'll see you next week. We are Texas Barnum Miniums.